Hey, what's going on everybody? Quadzilla here today. I have a boot review today. This is pretty interesting. This might be the best bang for the buck boot. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. So these are the um, Nordiv 8 Armadillo waterproof boots. And I've been able to take them around um, a little bit in Southeast Asia, go on some trails and just walk around in the streets. So um, haven't durability tested them, but otherwise tested them pretty thoroughly. And these are my um, thoughts on how the boots work. All right, so let's just get to the first point. So I, the main selling point of these boots is the price and the value. So they're 50 bucks on Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get prime shipping. So this is about a third to a fourth of the price of these more brand name premium brand boots. So then the question is, will they perform? Um, because if they can perform half, half as well at a third or a fourth of the price, then you're still coming out ahead. So just kind of first impressions, you know, the build quality looks good. The stitching is good. You know, there's nothing that's obviously um, kind of poor quality on this. You know, I flexed it around a lot, like pulled a lot on the glue and whatnot. And there's really, you know, it, it appears to be um, pretty well constructed. And I would expect that it's 2023 you know, making shoes, making boots is not rocket science. They should have that all down. And I would not expect a huge difference in build quality from this versus a, you know, $150 to $200 boot. Um, you know, there will obviously be some differences, but yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's enough to justify, you know, that, that big of a price um, jump. Almost ran face first into this guy. So I am hiking the Dat, <laughs> Dat Mook waterfall trail, the Tat Mook, D-T-A-A-T Mook. Um, it starts at this reservoir, uh, Hoin Tao, <laughs> just swallowed a bug, uh, having trouble out here. Yeah, I forget the reservoir's name, but it's like 10, 15 kilometers north of Chiang Mai. And there's an easy little cab ride up here. And now I'm hiking, thinking the route that all trails shows is a bad route because it just took me up and over this terrain feature with like 600 feet of gain, really steep for no reason because I went up and then I went over and like this looks like the beginning of the actual trail where I could have just, you know, taken the car over to this side. But uh, yeah, it's pretty overgrown. Looks like there have been a wildfire over on that side as well. It's a lot of charred trees and burnt burnt stuff on the ground but now i am just following the uh, stream that the waterfall flows into all the way up to the waterfall um, this path that i'm following on all trails it's uh, 3.7 miles out and back about a thousand feet of gain and i'm already sweating profusely um, yeah, pretty hot out here. And I'm testing out these new boots today. They might be the best bang for your buck kind of hiking boots that you can find. And uh, so far, they're working out really well. Very grippy on this really steep, loose stuff. Okay, so let's talk kind of first impressions when you put on the boot. Um, one thing I was really pleasantly surprised by is that they, I don't think these really require a break-in period. So it was pretty comfortable right off the bat. And I didn't have, I usually get pinch points um, with boots, like along the toe here, like that'll pinch. And then there might be a pinch point right up um, at the top, right around here, like that's a pinch point. And then the heel will get rubbed and uh, get blisters. And this, for me, boots, especially like fire boots, those are the points that need to break in. And I didn't, uh, didn't experience that. These like are pretty, it's a pretty flexible build where it's not super stiff. So that's kind of nice. It doesn't require a break-in period. And the material on the inside, it's really well um, pushing. So that was my first impression. I put it on like, it's actually pretty comfortable right off the bat, which, um, you know, I generally don't wear boots for hiking and whatnot. So having these be pretty comfortable, that was a really nice plus. So one of the big factors with any sort of outdoor shoes is tread. So it kind of looks like the, it kind of looks like a Vibram sole, but it's not a Vibram sole. It's their own Nordivate sole. And you know the tread 
I, I don't know the science behind it, but um, I took it out on some pretty steep trails. There was like loose scree rocks, um, slick wet rocks, and it, I, I was firm and it stuck well. So yeah, tread works really well. Uh, another question will be how long will the tread last? But you know, um, I don't know. Uh, but if it lasts for 300 miles, then you've got your money's worth out of them. Another one of the big features is waterproofing. So I took these, wore these into the waterfall and I noticed until I got my, the water to be above this ankle line, my feet were staying dry. So that waterproofing, um, it does work. You know, these are not, um, they're not waders. They're not, they're not, you're not supposed to stand in water with these and expect them to stay dry, but it's for like crossing a creek where you might have to step into a water or you slip off the rock and your foot goes into the water, like that kind of stuff, this will keep your feet dry. If you're standing in the water for a long time, obviously water is going to get in because these are two different, two separate pieces. You know, that is not watertight. That is not waterproof. Yeah, so these got soaked and I just set them outside and they dry pretty well over 12 hours. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. They didn't stay wet forever. So breathability is another big key factor for outdoor shoes. Um, wore these around Thailand. Yeah, I didn't really have any issues. My feet felt fine. They didn't feel overly hot or anything like that. I hate going under things. I'd much rather go over them. And the other main factor, these are legitimately really quite comfortable right out the box. And it's comfortable to be on my feet in these for hours at a time. Um, there's no kind of hot spots where I'm rubbing blisters, like it, it moves really well with my it's feet. Like so that's a huge plus because yeah. if, like you know, if shoes aren't comfortable, if they're rubbing in the wrong way, then what's the point? Yeah, so overall, I'm actually really impressed with these boots. They, uh, they really perform well for a $50 pair of boots. And it's crazy because like on trail, my trail runners are 150 anymore. So uh, you buy three pairs of these for what it costs for one trail runner that'll last 500 miles. That's the big question for me right now is, you know, I don't know how long these will last, but if they can last two, 300 miles, then they've really, you know, they've, they've, they are worth the money and they're worth the value. If they can last 500, 600 miles, then they are uh, going to be a really great value. All right, this is pretty impressive. Um, worth the hike. Kind of a tough hike. Uh, a lot of slippery, steep stuff, but yeah, this is cool. There's nobody else up here, so if I can, I'm gonna go for a swim. Going out on day hikes, especially, I think these would be great boots to use as like a work boot. If you're doing like conservation work, trail work, something like that where you need close-toed shoe, uh, but that can still be comfortable. I think these would work really, really well for those types of applications. So yeah, I think these are worth worth checking out. And again, it's, it's $50, so. Even if they work for you, you know, for a bit, then um, they really paid off, I think. So the fit is pretty true to size. So I usually wear 12 and a half to 13 trail runners, and that's a, a slightly big because you want to go slightly larger versus slightly too small. And so I got size 13 on these boots, and they are slightly, um, slightly big. And so that uh, that tells me that they are pretty true to size. So whatever, you know, whatever size trail runners you use, you can order the same size for the boots. And so the last point is these, these have the higher, what do you call that? But anyway, it goes over your ankle. So for those people that are looking for that, you know, ankle support, <laughs> these, uh, these have it. And it's, again, it's comfortable. You know, the material is comfortable around here. So I wasn't rubbing, chafing, you know, causing blisters that sometimes that happens um, with me in boots. So the way they've designed it with the padding and the material um, is, it's good. It's not this like stiff, um, abrasive material sometimes that can cause problems with boots. It's um, quite comfortable.
So yeah, check them out. These are Nordiv 8 Armadillos.